Hey guys and gals, this is Nick from the Broken Legion of Gamers, and in this video, I've got a Kickstarter spotlight on a Kickstarter campaign that reignited my passion for World War II gaming. And in this spot Kickstarter spotlight, we are going to be spotlighting 3D Breeds, 3D Breed Miniatures, March to Hell Kickstarter campaign. The campaign is for... World War II miniatures in both the 28mm and 15mm scale, so they will be playable in Bolt Action and Flames of War, as well as any other World War II miniature games that are in those two scales. For example, you could go onto voxelhouse.com and follow their link to Wargaming Vault. They have a game called Iron Cross, and though Iron Cross is designed for eight millimeter scale he has a he has a a free pdf kind of like narada which he actually goes through and changes movement distances and ranges for various other popular scales including 15 millimeter and i think i saw 28 millimeter on the graphs but i'm not exactly sure but without further ado let's get in to the video. First, we're going to look at the 15 millimeter scale models. Let's get the little ones out of the way and then get to the big boys. Right here is a Japanese rifleman that they designed in 15 millimeter scale. Nice little running pose. Has it has a nice bayonet at the end of his rifle. All sorts of gear in his backpack, and. All the miniatures come on these integrated bases, and as you'll see later, these integrated bases pop right into the holes of um, the Flames of War bases. Now, here's the second. Here's the second 15 millimeter duder. This guy is the MCU. I mean, the NCO, the non commissioned officer for the. U.S. Army Marines. The last one was for the Japanese Army. And here is a comparison of the 15 millimeter scale miniature on a base with three U.S. paratroopers for Flames of War. As you can see, the sizes are just about right. The legs are a little bit chunky compared to the others, but that actually works to your benefit for the 3D printing because it helps when you pull the model up on the... It just makes it easier to print. I don't even know what I was about right to say there. But as you can see, scale-wise, he fits in perfectly with the Flames of War miniatures. Now we're going to move on to the 228mm miniatures. And just like before, we're going to start with the Japanese Rifleman. Nice running pose, beautiful details, you can see the wrinkles in the uniform and everything, and all the gear is very well defined on the backpack, and the helmet looks amazing, and I missed, as you can see right there, I missed a support. But that is the Japanese Rifleman, and they did a really good job with these miniatures with the detail that they put into the miniatures and oh i forgot to show before we move on but any further onto the 28 millimeter i forgot to show you they also did tanks right there right here is a 28 millimeter stewart tank for the americans It prints the Stuart tank prints in two pieces, very highly detailed. I still have to remove supports and whatnot from from the tank. It prints out hollow on the bottom. This way, you don't waste any resin. And as I said, it prints in two pieces. And this one piece is the hull, the hull and the tank treads. And the second piece is, as you can see, the turret which means you can turn the turret 
and aim it however you want. And I love how it's got the nice 50 cal machine gun right there. But onto the... Oh, and I forgot. I've got some, some size comparisons. There's... Here's the Stewart. Here's a couple... Uh, unfortunately, I don't have Flames War Stewarts. Here's a couple Flames War Shermans. And here's a Flames of War M10 Tank Destroyer. And then we'll go... That's the nice little Stewart right next to that. And next to the Sherman. And next to the Sherman 76mm with the Tank Commander popping out out of the turret. Okay. And just for funsies, here's a Panzer IV. Because we really want to make this guy feel small and insignificant. But it's a Stewart. It's supposed to be a light tank. It's small and insignificant. And the detail on this guy is crazy amazing. And just for funsies, I also grabbed the big bad boy of the Germans. The Tiger Tank. Look at how small that is compared to the... <laughs> That's like a baby tank compared to the Tiger. But it is, as you can see, size appropriate for 15 millimeter scale. That was the whole point of that those shenanigans. And now on to the 28 millimeter NCO. Here's the 28 millimeter NCO in all of his goodness. And all his kid kitted out ready to go and kill some Japanese soldiers or if they moved over to the east Germans we prefer killing Germans although the Germans as you can see do have some pretty good toys oh and here's a size comparison of the 28 millimeter NCO against, I think that's Slammer Samuel from Conflict 47. Once again, the legs are a little bit chunkier, but the height's about right. The height is about right. So keep in mind, this guy's bent down a little bit, so if, if you stood straight up, you'd probably be about the same size as Slammer Samuel. Let's... Same thing with this guy. He's in a run and pose. And Slammer, Stan Slammer Samuel is standing up, upright and proud and standing on a rock. So he's going to be a little bit taller. But as you can see, these miniatures fit in with the <clears throat> fit in with the World War II Warlord Games bolt action or Conflict 47 miniatures. And here is what is left of a Stewart tank in 28 millimeter scale. Um, Neil's saying I dropped the the turret of about a few minutes before I started filming and knocked off the knocked off the. Neil say I am reprinting the whole Stewart because I keep knocking off the little machine gun because, as you know. Your boy is clumsy as hell. And I knocked off the barrels for the machine guns here. The machine gun and the main tank gun. The only thing I wish they would have included on this turret that they included on the 15mm turret would be the 50 cal machine gun. That would have been great. But that's fine. I could probably find a 28 28 millimeter 50 cal machine gun to go on that turret but that would have been been great and for some reason on the 28 millimeter you don't have these machine guns right here either i don't know why but it is what it is and i'm actually gonna reprint this turret too because when i was cleaning off the sports i accidentally took off that thing right there so but as you can see, the 
these models do have some great do have great detail and the 28 millimeter tank prints in four pieces right track left track main hull and turret i'm gonna i'm currently reprinting the the tracks because i printed them on supports and they warped quite a bit so now i'm gonna print them flat on the build plate and then i'm just gonna re reprint this with um re reprint this i'll put in the drain holes again i'll actually move the drain holes down over closer to here so they will they'll definitely not be seen and move these drain holes down over to here yeah you see right here i was kind of worried when you when you print these hollowing them out and put in the place in the drain holes actually those drain holes placed rather nicely but i'm not liking where i place these so i'm gonna replace move those drain holes but as you can see this this tank all these t miniatures and the tanks have some amazing detail and the price for this the price for this kickstarter is 40 euros and it translates to 46 us dollars i don't know what it is in pounds but <laughs> what you're getting so far they unlock through stretch goals you unlocked a full u.s marine force with shermans stewards um 57 millimeter anti-tank gun the 37 millimeter anti-tank gun you you on we unlocked bazooka crews light and medium motors 50 caliber machine gun teams basically the works um the deuce and a half truck uh they have the willie's jeep they've got a scout on a motorcycle and they also have the m3 half track and on the japanese they have the japanese equivalents to all of those and we also unlocked the germans and great great british great britain the germans look like they're gonna be grenadiers and we're working on unlocking all that stuff we're currently currently marching towards unlocking the tiger tank for the the germans and they've got some of the iconic gr british tanks and you got half tracks and armored cars for the the germans and the brits as well and everything for the british and germans that the japanese and the americans got so for that price you're unlocking pretty much four full army lists oh and for the germans you're also getting the stug three you get they've got the panther tank um a future stretch goal is going to be for the the panzer four tank so basically they're hitting most of the iconic vehicles and troop choices <coughs> for world war ii gaming for a really good price considering you'll be getting four armies to 3d print and and download and they're they also have all sorts of terrain basically this is going to be short of rules it's print and play gaming system you can print your terrain for your tabletop you can print your miniatures and print your your tanks and everything will everything you'll be up and running and playing as as quickly as you can print the stuff quite frankly and i will say that the tanks take a little bit of time to print <coughs> because you got to do it in multiple prints well the 28 millimeter tanks the 15 millimeter tanks you could probably print four four or five tanks depending on what you need for a unit in one printing and have one unit in three hours actually i'm liking the way that turret looks i'm just gonna keep that turret uh, never mind i'm just talking to myself but this kickstarter as you can see they've got phenomenal detail it's phenomenal value and if you're a fan of world war ii you're going to be getting units and tanks that you're actually going to want to print and play with the steward is a good tank for small point games so you can have some heavy heavy armor when the point points get a little higher print out the sherman the shermans are included in the americans and they've 
went through, they made it a point to go through and get all of the iconic units, tanks, and terrain pieces that basically showcase what each army was about during World War II and showcase the high points of the army. And as you can see, the, the detail... And... And if you want to pop the pop the model off the integrated base so you can put it on an actual put it on an actual warlord base just do what I did and drop your NCO on the floor and this does not this doesn't speak poorly on 3D breeds part this is just that I'm clumsy and these are resin miniatures they're not exactly the strongest of material it's not like you're dealing with metal or or injection molded plastic. You're dealing with 3D printed resin, and these have been cured. So, as you know, resin gets brittle when they when it cures. I use the standard Elgu gray resin, so you get what you get. But these are definitely high quality files. They print out very beautifully, and I wish I had a Warlord base because this would would begin. Uh, for the time being, I'll just glue this right back onto the base. I do plan on... Actually, no. On Thingiverse, I saw Warlord... I saw bolt-action bases. So, I'll just... What I'll do is I'll just download the files and print out some... Print out... Print me out a freaking uh, bolt-action base. And that guy's ready for... To start a unit. But, that's it for this video, guys. <coughs> I've babbled on for long enough. If you like what you saw, hit the hit the like button oh and run over and and back this campaign it's you're going to be getting a lot for your money uh the the link to the campaign will be in the description below and also the link to voxel house if you want to download the rules for iron cross will be in the description below as well if you like what you saw hit the thumbs up button if you're new to the channel and you want to see more of my decent content hit the subscribe button hit the bell icon so you can be notified anytime i put up any future content and as always whenever possible support local wargaming here at the channel we support toy Wiz and nanuet new york on route 59 right across the street from the dunkin donuts you guys have a nice day